folks, welcome to another episode of Adventures in Dog Training with American Standard Dog Training and American Overwatch Canine Services. To my left and my right, we got two of the uh, toughest breeds on the planet. We have here Astro, he's about what, 12 months old, give or take, and he is a uh, Rottweiler, as you can tell. So he's still a puppy, still growing. German. Yeah, German Rottweiler, if you will. I am no Rottweiler expert, but he's more of the German line. Uh, a little more short, stout, uh, got the long tail that's not cropped, good boy. And this here is Zephos. He is our personally owned Cane Corso. I say Cane Corso, some people say Cane Corso. It's an Italian Mastiff. Um, he is 10 years old, right? Is he gonna turn 11 in December? Oh, he'll be 10 in December. So he's nine and a half years old. Uh, he's about, give or take, 110 to 115 pounds, maybe a little more. We actually brought a scale out because there's some internet trolls out there that when I quote you what the dog's weight is, they get all bent out of shape and say, impossible, it can't be that big. Well, you have no idea how big I am, so you can't tell in, if, if I'm 300 pounds, which I'm not, um, it would be a different scale. So there's nothing to scale it with. So for the record, I'm 5'10", 5'11", on a good day, and I'm 230 pounds. So I'm not a small guy. And so in relation to me, maybe that'll give you some perspective. But he is, I'm only gonna guess, maybe 115, maybe more. We'll see, but we actually brought a scale out for you for you dodo heads that want to give me a hard time and we'll actually weigh them let's see if our fat butts don't uh break the scale so leave it you can see he's wound up real tight we like him that way a little dirty um astro's pretty nice for the most part but this video is going to be about the differences and the similarities between Cane Corsos and Rottweilers and which is the right one for you um so this video is not to tell you which one uh, I think is better than the other. They both have their pros and cons, and so we're gonna talk about that. But let me walk a little bit. Let me give you a different angle, um, just in case this one sucks with the sun setting behind me. We'll uh, kind of move over there. We'll walk with them a little bit, and you can see what we're dealing with. Plus, we'll get over near the scale and, and weigh them live on YouTube for you folks at home so that you guys can uh, stop crying when I tell you how much a dog weighs. All right, let's rock and roll. All right, we're here at the scale. Uh, first, we're gonna zoom in, hopefully it picks up, and you're gonna see I'm around 230 with all the, the stuff I have on me. 230, two and change. All right, now let's see what the scale does when I pick up Big Astro here. Ch -ch -ch. Ch -ch -ch. I'm not gonna be able to see it, so. What's it say? 328 Shh. Shh. so 232 to 328 so he's what 98 pounds give or take yeah all right let's see what big z is all right so we're going to weigh z next again about uh, almost a 10 year old Cane Corso he's slightly undersized from the um, breed standard which is fine we knew that when we bought him his father was slightly undersized at around 115 pounds but his father was just super athletic and so is he so don't let their size or their stature fool you Cane Corsos are very athletic very strong um, him definitely too so even at almost 10 years old which is for his breed I'd say 10 years old for him is in their 60s give or take right every breed is different right the bigger they are the, the shorter their lifespan is so all right come on so there's my scale stay oh. Oh. am i on it check it out You got it? All right. 349 and 351. All right, so we just weighed them. The scale says about 350. I'm about 230 uh, right now. So we're about 120, maybe just shy of 120. So right there for you folks at home who tell me I don't know how to weigh a dog. I was off by 10 pounds on him and um, I was on the money with him. I thought he'd be more like 115, but because I thought maybe it, with his age, he's lost some muscle mass, but he seems to be holding on to it pretty good. Yeah, very, very strong dog. Hello. Just leave it. 
it's funny when I have a sweet little dog people are so happy they want to wave and they want to come over when I have an ugly dog not ugly but you know mean I can wave and say hi and they just give me dirty looks so if you want people to give you a dirty look buy yourself a Connie Corso or a Rottweiler this dog intimidates the shit out of people let's just be frank okay if you want a dog that intimidates people this is the one for you when people ask what an Italian Mastiff is or what a Connie Corso is and they're not familiar with it I describe it as a, um, a pit bull on steroids and, and then some uh, they kind of have kind of the look and the stature of a pit uh, but they're twice as much uh, you know a nice pit could be 65 pounds you know a nice lean machine um, these I think males I'll post it up on the video but males I think the breed standards about 120 120 125 on the low end up to 140 again he's on the smaller side of things he's just barely at 120 and I think I pulled a muscle on my back lifting up his big ass <laughs> so enough on the way in let's move into um, pros cons and the differences between the two